Thanks to pillars and beams, stacking and elevating structures in Ark Survival Ascended is an absolute breeze. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stack preserving bins on your refrigerators, vault on your vault, and to elevate structures off the ground so that you can walk underneath them. Let's get cracking. Alright you tinkers, I'm Toast Bloke and I'm back in Ark Survival Ascended because I've accidentally stumbled across a gem of a mechanic and it all involves pillars and beams which is why I have these spread all around my little testing station here. And it all came about because I was trying to find a way to get preserving bins on top of refrigerators like I used to do in the original game but with the walls being higher it was a little bit tricky so I started messing about with different structures and realised you can place things on top of pillars, which is mental. That isn't something you used to be able to do. So I thought, great, we'll stick that up there. It's a little bit lower than the pillar. It might be a little bit closer than using the quarter wall and there's no obstruction or the quarter ceiling at least to sit it on. So I gave it a go and no, it was too hard to reach the preserving bin. But I wasn't gonna stop there and decided to see if I could edge this ever closer to the front of the pillar. So I got up and I slowly pulled this forward, step back and pop. It happened. The magic happened. It dropped down and although it is stuck to the pillar, because of alignment it is sat on the refrigerator which is absolutely sick. Now the issue is I've got the same problem. Yeah there's not a quarter ceiling in the way or anything but I still can't access the preserving bin very well from the front. And that's when I had this idea to try using beams. So, I popped the beam out in front like so. I got my refrigerator and I decided to try and line this up so it was halfway under, or at least to some extent, under the beam, like so. I think that'll do. Got to come out of KMO to place in this game, which is annoying. And then I tried to see if I could get this to sit on top using the beam. And look, it does, it does. Got to make sure you're looking at the beam. Got to make sure snapping is off. And here, presto, I solved the problem. Now, the only issue was this is a little bit ugly and it takes up a lot of space. You don't really want this in your base, do you? Nobody wants that in their base. So I tried to condense it and I thought, what about if I take the beams sideways? And this is where everything started to happen. I got my refrigerator and with full alignment mode on, I decided to get it up against the beam, make sure it's flipped so it's facing forward. And I went into K mode and I pulled it forward. Now I noticed that if I got the back of this in line with the pillar, like so, just like so, I could place this and then snap three more beside it and they fit perfectly under the beams. Now you can use this, you can use any pillar for this, but because it's structural, I'd recommend using the metal pillars and beams, which is why I've chosen to. Now I got out the preserving bin and was just hoping, hoping that this would work on the side and here presto, it did. I couldn't believe my eyes. And I like to start in the middle and just pop that down. Now you'll notice it won't go up there with snapping on. Again, you've got to turn snapping off, but if snapping's off, Alignment will work. Make sure your crosshair is on the beam or the pillar that you're trying to glue these things to, stick them to, and you will be able to place things where you want. And that is the solution I came up with for preserving bins on refrigerators. But it didn't stop there. It didn't stop there. Because when I went to go and pick these things up to try and recreate the situation, I noticed that the preserving bin was floating. Pick the other one up. Ah, so is that one. In fact, you can remove everything from underneath and whatever you have snapped to the pillar, to the front of the pillar, will stay elevated. It'll stay floating up there in the sky. And as long as that beam is connected to something, everything connected to it will stay there. The only issue you're going to have is, even when there's things underneath, if the beam goes, the preserving bins break. So that is why I'm saying make sure you use your metal structures for that. But this gave me all sorts of ideas. And one was to get a better outdoor breeding area using pillars, beams and air conditioners. So I set about creating my little archway again. And I was trying to get my air conditioners to do the same trick. So place it there, take snapping off and raise it up the pillar. And you'll notice that the air con 
is only trying to connect to the very top half of the pillar. And that's because it has to stick to the top half, the very top part of the pillar. And because there's nothing supporting it underneath, there's a little bit of an issue there. So automatically, I decided to grab the refrigerator and see if I could get the air conditioner on top of that. And here, presto, there we go. We can do. And because I've looked at that beam, I can move it. Lovely. Now, I thought it was a bit expensive to be using refrigerators to stack everything on top of the beam. So I tried some other structures and the one that I like the best is actually the table. I want to place the table here and then I want to turn snapping on because I need to snap the tables to each other like so. And then I want to stack the tables just like this as well. And however high you go is however high you're going to be sticking your items to the beam. Now I'm going to go three high because I felt like this was a nice little amount. And you're going to get out your air conditioner and you are going to look over the top, look at the pillar, look at the beam and make sure that it is sitting on there. Why won't this happen? What have I done wrong here? Do I need to step further back? Yeah, step further back. Sometimes that just fixes these things. And I'm going to line it up where I want it roughly. I might put it there actually. Step back. Come on. It's a little bit finickety. But we can do it. We can do it. Look back. What does it want? There. There we go. And that is in position. Now, you need snapping off, like I say. If you have snapping on, what'll happen is you'll get it looking like it's connecting to the pillar, but really it's just connecting to the table and the other air conditioner. So the way I've found about making sure these stay up here and they don't drop is to grab a ladder. We'll quickly grab one or two probably, I'd imagine, to get up here. Let's do that. And we'll just hop over the top. And when I'm up here... I can actually make sure that I'm out of snapping, get alignment mode on, and just push these up against the edge of each other. And I've got to be looking, remember, at the beam or the pillar. And if I am, pop. That will be snapped to the beam. You can do this with any structure, really. I'm going to fly up this time. You've seen us walk up. I like to do it how you guys are going to have to do it, but, you know, I'm sure you know I can run around and reuse that ladder. So yeah, you can use pretty much any structure. And once you've got that up there, take out the bottom table. All the tables will drop because they aren't connected to the pillar and the air conditioners will stay up. Now, just to show you that these things all still do work, we've got our refrigerators powered. We've got the air conditioners running. And like I say, I thought this would be a nice idea to do almost like a gazebo, like a cube shape, a square shape, and have air conditioners all around so you can put your eggs in the middle and easily walk your dinos in and out as they grow. So that is where I started figuring out just how sticky these pillars and beams were. But it didn't stop there. It didn't stop there. I wanted to know more. So I decided to see what else I could stack. And what I'm going to do, just going to build them up there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a dedicated storage box here. And I'm just going to show you that this works for all sorts of things, especially if they've got a bit of a surface. Now, this goes against the rule if it needn't stick to the top half. I don't know why. It's the only thing it really seems to happen with. But I'm looking at that pillar, snapping's off, and I can just work my way up. Now, you might want to be more careful with your alignment and make sure this is super neat. But I can stack these all the way up the pillar, like so. And if I take the bottom one out, just to prove they are stacked, they will float there. They are connected and stacked to the pillar. I can do the same with loads of other things. One of the good ones is vaults, and I'll explain why very shortly. I'm gonna snap that in place. We're gonna look up and make sure it's lined up nicely. Just make sure your crosshairs on the pillar. Step back if you need to. Make sure you get that solid green box. And you can just go up and up and up, right? So we've got our vaults there. Now, here's the difference. I'm gonna show you this actually. Do I have my tech rifle in here? I've been keeping it in here so I don't lose it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just how things collapse and why the vaults are different. So let's change these to wood. It'll make it a little bit easier. And I think it's 12 shots to get this wood to go. But when this pillar breaks, everything connected to it is going to break as well. I've got to do this with a weapon because if you pick it up in this game, everything gets picked up with the piece you picked up. So we've got to actually destroy it. There we go. Everything breaks. No good because there's no support underneath. 
and it's the same with the air cons it's the same with everything dedicated storage boxes let's show you with that as well we'll just switch one of these out in the middle they'll be fine you'll get the drift you'll get the point um, I maybe should have left the thing underneath just to prove this properly but if I shoot this one more time we'll break it everything is gone however with the vault the top of the vault is actually perfectly along this line if you stand on the top of the vault your player sinks about quarter of the way down into the vault and so unlike everything else you're actually safe to vault stack like this once you go three high if you take the middle one out the top one falls down and the middle one disappears something like that or maybe it's the top one disappears because this is gone but if you're going too high you're safe so i'll just shoot this out to prove it one more shot pop the vault stays in position so this is a cool way to vertically stack your vaults now just like over there with the air conditioners and the preserving bins you can work sideways across beams and i've actually created an arch of vaults where i go two up across and two down so there's all sorts of things that you can apply this little mechanic to i can show you quickly if you want it's a little bit tricky a little bit annoying but essentially i should be able to snap the vaults to each other across the bottom got to turn snapping off for the trick and i'm gonna to have to look up at that make sure this is in line there we go make sure my crosshair is on the beam just move along and place like so come on come on that end one's not going to work because the beam's gone but you catch my drift i can take these ones out and the top ones will stay in place so you can have a little arch in your crafting station and still be able to access all of your vaults so i feel like this is such a cool trick because there's so many applications and possibilities now there are some more it doesn't stop there and i'm going to show you what a few of those are in fact how should we do this let's do one vertically and let's do one horizontally just to to get the idea across now talking of crafting stations i've been looking for a way to get chem bench above a fabricator or to stack fabricators and things and i finally found a method again if the pillars break these will collapse that's why you want to use metal but it uses the trick that i used for the air cons so we're going to get out the table we're going to walk forward and we're going to push this up against the pillar now i want to snap these in front so i can get the snap for the one on top by looking down and another one and then i can pick up the front one you can leave it there but i'm going to pick it up now because the tables are snapped to each other in front of the pillar i can get something out like a chem bench and I can turn snapping off and I can look at the pillar above and get this to sit on the tables. Now the mad thing is, if I take out the tables below, look what happens. Bop! We have an elevated structure of floor in chem bench. And guess what you can fit underneath that quite nicely and easily? Oh my word! A fabricator! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look how neat that is. And the crazy thing is, you can do it again on this side so that you can access them like this and like this or so you can have a forge here say and your workstation here and the same on the other side you can run these for days and the really cool thing is you've already got your beams there to potentially if you really want create little well i guess extensions to put turrets and things on just to keep your crafting station a little bit safer so that works really nice and you can do them as well across the beams so i'll support one and show you how i get one in the middle here just going to place the table again snapping on and i want one in front that gives us the point to snap them on top i'm going to get rid of this now that shouldn't be too high if it is i'll just bring it one table down we'll get the chem bench and it doesn't have to be the chem bench you can pretty much do this with anything but you can see i can move that across the beam so if I want to get this in the middle, well, we're just going to snap some tables to each other here. I'm going to do the same trick again. Get these up. Just putting one in front and then looking down gives you the snaps that you want if you're struggling with the tables. It is a little bit annoying how they work. We're going to get out the chem bench. Where are you? And I'm going to take snapping off now. And we're going to try and get this to sit and snap to the beam. If it's not going back against the beam, remember, walk backwards. 
Make sure your crosshair is on the beam. It's got to be. Now, I'm getting the rotation thing there. That means this hasn't placed. So maybe this won't work at this height. Let's have a little... Just see what we're going to do. I am in alignment mode with no snapping on, so this should work. But like I say, this could be a bit high sometimes, the three tables for the snap point. Yeah, I think I've got to go two tables for this. So if you wanted to get the chem bench up that high, you're going to have to do it on the vertical pillar. Or you can use something else instead of tables to get this to the height you want. But there you go, you'll see I don't get the rotation, which means that is stuck to the pillar. And I can remove these tables and it will hover there. I don't know why I picked that one up and not that one. And it takes a little bit of a crouch because that's a little bit low. But it shows off the premise. I wonder if, just quickly, because I would like to succeed at this let's go back to the refrigerators they're like such a nice height for this pop one snap the rest should only have to come two out let's get the chem bench and take snapping off again and just look up there it's worked it's worked so maybe you just got to choose carefully what you're going to use to do this and you can get things stuck up on beams on pillars out of the way if you want to. So I think this is a really cool little mechanic, especially for getting your preserving bins on your refrigerators. Now, of course, if you really want to, let's go back to this one, because I've not mentioned this. You can actually stack refrigerators and you don't need to do this part or this part because putting it in front of the beam is gonna give you the same result as putting it in front of the beam up top. So just step backwards Got to find the right point for that to drop down. It will do it. Come on. How far back have I got to go? There we go. That was it. There we go. And you can line those up. And you can do yourself refrigerators stacked too high. Super, super neat. Again, take anything out from underneath and they will stay because they're actually stuck to the beam. It's ridiculous. So the possibilities with this are endless i'm trying to think if there's anything else i can show you and there is there is right preserving bins on preserving bins we've just done refrigerators on refrigerators let's get a preserving bit out and we'll just use this pillar here because there's plenty of room i'm going to pop that there up against it we're going to have snapping off and we're just going to look up and you'll see this will not stack on top of the other preserving bin it's ridiculous why not why not it should but the height of the pillar where this is sticking and the surface of the top of the preserving bin are not close enough so this is what i meant earlier when i said you can find what you want to get the height you need to position things so something i realized was quite handy is now that crop plots are stackable in the game if you grab yourself some of those you can do this with large or medium small's too small to put the table on but they will snap to each other so run them up to the pillar get them stacked on top and then we are going to grab the table and we're going to run that against the pillar. Snapping needs to be off, remember? Just push it right up against it or as close as you can. And that gives us a new surface to be able to place our preserving bin on. So as long as you're looking at the pillar again with your crosshair, click that in place. And then you can pick all of these up, not the foundation. No, the, the crop plot, please. There we go. And that will float. Now, it's not perfect. Like I say, I need to work out what is. But it is usable that you can pop your preserving bin underneath another one and have a double stacked preserving bin, which is quite nice. So there you have it. And you'll notice it's just a little bit lower doing it that way than it is using the refrigerator. So it's up to you what you use to create the surface to be able to snap these things to the pillars and beams. But ultimately, that is the mechanic. And I'm super excited to see what else I can do with this, what builds I can come up with, what mechanisms I can come up with but most importantly, I'm just super happy that I managed to find a way to stack preserving bins on top of refrigerators, which is what I set out to do originally. And all this just came out of it. So it's really, really cool. I hope you can put this mechanism or this mechanic to use. But that is it. That's how it all works. Give it a go. Give it a shot. And I'm going to call it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. That way you'll know when the next one drops or when my next playthrough episode comes out. It would be lovely to have you along. I really do appreciate the support. Also, check out the links in the description. I will link any videos relevant to this in there, but also you'll find my Discord and the likes. It would be class to have you part of our community. But until next time, guys, you take care, and I'll catch you later.
Chariu.